Hello guys and welcome to my very first voiceover video. Oh my god, this is so embarrassing. Please, please, please forgive me for my very strong Italian accent. Okay, moving on. And this is my A5 Moleskine or Moleskine. I don't know actually how to pronounce it, but I believe it's Moleskine since it's an Italian brand. Uh, yeah, I'm, I am using my Italian card. And I wanted to turn one of my illustrations into an enamel pin. And I want to use this cute little froggy here uh, as a design. So I did took a picture with my iPad Pro directly uh, to, uh, of my Moleskine. And then I lowered the opacity uh, of the picture and I started to draw on top of it. So here I'm using the monoline on the calligraphy brush of Procreate and this is like the best brush for me to use for the enamel pin design because no matter how much you push and press uh, the pen, uh, the brush size won't be affected by it and it's perfect for the design because it has to it has to have the same uh, size of the line for all the design. As you can see, I'm using a very small stroke and I'm also using one of the Procreate uh, effect that if you do a circle and you press down your finger, it will become a perfect circle. And that's an amazing feature. I don't know if you know it, now you know. So basically when you draw a line, a circle line, or even a straight line and you want it to be geometrically perfect you just have to press down a little bit like for one second your pen and this feature will help you to make like a perfect line and yeah it's it's an amazing feature <laughs> i really hope that photoshop will do this too someday but nah i don't think so um i really love this color palette uh, I think it's perfect for this character and I really want him to be uh, like um, a new character uh, for my Candy Monster story because of course the Candy Monster has to have friends and so I thought why not this cute frog, this sad frog be like his best friend and I imagine him to be sad all the time without any reason i don't know why it's just how i feel about it and here doing it again i'm using the finger to do a perfect circle and then i use the bucket to fill it uh, so if you don't get like a perfect uh, feel on the bucket all you have to do is to keep pressing the the pen and move it to the right or to the left uh, so it will be like the the perfect feel for you. Uh, you have to understand how much you have to press it on the left and on the right to get it right because sometimes you left like a, a small white line weird. In this way you have like the perfect feel. And I'm using the same color palette of the Moleskine or Moleskine. Uh, I don't know. I still don't know. And for the line art, uh, it doesn't matter uh, because as an MLP, you have to choose between the platinum option that are gold, silver, or rose gold, or copper. It depends on your manufacturer. And I believe that the best option for this frog uh, will be gold or silver. Because I already used rose gold for my last enamel pin design and I think it was the best choice because the main color were white and pink. So rose gold was a nice option. But in this case, with all these greens, I believe the gold and silver will be better, but I still don't know which one. So I'm gonna test now here with, with you which one is gonna be the best option. Changing, of course, the line art. Uh, of this illustration. It's it's very easy. Uh, now I'm just uh, putting the layer in order so the the brighter the brighter green will be on top of the darker green and now I'm just using the use saturation feature on Procreate to make the, the green a little bit lighter because it's too dark. 
and now I'm just setting a little bit of depth on the illustration with a dark green for the leaf uh, because for the leaf because I think that it just needed a little bit even though for uh, an ML pin you don't have to put a lot of shadows in this case I think that in the bottom of the leaves you need it because it's a very big leaves uh, now I'm grouping uh, all the layers and I'm duplicating it because I want to test the platinum option. The first platinum option I want to test is silver, so I'm gonna select all the line art uh, level uh, because I did it in different layers. And I'm gonna use the hue and saturation feature of Procreate um, to turn it into gray. So I just lower it the saturation in this case because I wanted a gray and I'm doing it for all the different layers uh, of the line art and as you can see it's very very easy to do it and this is not just the only way uh, that you can change the color of the line art and you can also select the layer and click uh, alpha lock and this feature allows you to pin down on the pixel all the pixel of the layer so you can choose whatever color you want and color over it and it will color just a picture just a pixel that are selected in a alpha lock and i'm doing this for the golden option because now i'm duplicating it again and i want to test the golden option too and yeah, I select alpha curl, alpha lock, and I'm gonna pick a golden, like a dark yellow kind of color, and yeah, just go over it and color it. And of course, because it's different layers, I have to do with every layer. And to be honest, I think the golden would be my choice. I think it'll, I think it's the best option because it really go well with this green. And also it goes well with the pink too. It's a very cold pink, so yeah, I, I think I think this will be my option. And yeah, no, now I'll just now just finishing up the the last touches, and we are done. Our little frog is finally completed. I'm so happy how it turned out. What do you think about it? Okay. Now we have to move everything of Photoshop to do the next, next steps because I don't think you can do it in Procreate. So basically, uh, to, to send the file to the manufacturer, you have to prepare it, of course. And now I'm just selecting the file, um, the froggy, and I'm trying to see how it will look like very, very small because as you saw before, the um, the frog will be very, very, very small printed. It will be like 25 millimeters in di diameter. So I'm testing it that and that I can see it looks very, very nice, even if it's very, very small. And now to prepare the file for the manufacturer, you just need to pick the color and you have to click those two, one of those two small square over there and it's the color picker basically and then you have to click uh, color libraries and basically photoshop will open the pantone uh, libraries that has photoshop you can choose different kind of pantone uh, like pastels uh, premium metallics coated coated but the one that is used the most in the, from the manufacturer are solid coated so choose that one so basically when you will pick the color with the picker it will give you automatically the code for the pantone and that's the code that the manufacturer needs to print to print to your enamel pin basically and it has to be the most uh, similar possible to your original color and of course you can choose between different shades or different uh, kind of hue or color if it's not what you're looking for. But basically this code helps you um, to print uh, 
the enamel pin with the color that you want instead of send, uh, not sending anything and the manufacturer doesn't know which kind of color do you want to use if it's a cooler pink or with a warmer pink if it's a metallic pink the manufacturer needs to know that and the pantone codes are so useful for this they're used for every kind of design and uh, it's really important to send a file with all the picked color so basically you send the, this file, it can be a JPEG, it can be a PSD with different layers, doesn't matter. You send the file with the design and then you write down Pantone Solid Edit as a reference. You write down all the codes, all the color, and then you add your platinum of option. And in this case, I will add the golden option. So you just write um, platinum option golden and that's it the file is ready to be sent to the manufacturer now to find the right manufacturer you can find it of course online even on instagram if you write down pin uh, or enamel pin you will find a lot of different manufacturer i can't suggest you one because i had some problems with my last manufacturer even if the design turned out great uh, we have some problems, so I'll probably be, so I'll probably want print with him again, and I'm actually looking for a new manufacturer uh, to print this new this new design. And so after I did uh, the file ready, so I prepared the file ready, I decided to turn this uh, design into a sticker too because i really really like it so we are back on brocade as you can see it's a speed uh, drawing this time so you can see it a little bit faster i decided to take all the other froggy design i already drew in the moleskina and draw it again in digital and uh, it's so important of course you can you can scan it if you want but i prefer to make a digital version of my illustration so the colors are fine and the quality is very very nice and i'm gonna design some of the elements to do a sticker sheet because i really really like blue journal and planners and i want to make different uh, kind of emoji style uh, frog sticker i know i know is is weird uh, but i actually I like it uh, it's something that is something that i always do when i'm planning my day or my week i always add a little smiley face or a sad face or an angry face just because maybe i don't like the task or i really love it with what i'm going to do so i decided to add some different expression of the froggy and even even through i i think that i will i will not use the sad froggy emoji face because i already have the seed frog that is crying and the other one that is holding that leaf is crying too so i i think i'm, I'm gonna i prefer to use those one instead of that emoji one and i use the other emoji too so now you can't see it but actually i did do a print test because the sticker sheet is gonna be very very small here you can see my last design for the sticker sheet. It's my candy monster and I need a different expression and I really, really like how, it's how it turned out. Um, the size is very small, it's 9 centimeters by 12 because I want it to fit any kind of journal like my Moleskine again. And you can see that I can insert it nicely inside uh, this this thingy here that every Moleskine I have, and I believe that other journal has it. So it's very uh, it's very useful to to have. It's very smart to have a very small uh, sticker sheet, so you can uh, take it everywhere with you. And now we're back in Photoshop. So basically, now I'm using the same uh, design as a model as a template. And I'm copying and pasting all the froggy design inside of it, and then I'm placing it around. I'm gonna speed up a little bit uh, this uh, screen recording of Photoshop because it's just purely design. 
Of course, I'm gonna change all the color palette of the sticker sheet so it will match the froggy. So I wanted to thank you so much for watching this video. I know it's very, 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 very long. I'm really new into voiceover. Believe me, it has been really, really hard for me to record myself, to listen to me and to edit it because I hate my accent. I know, I, I feel it, I can tell it that I have this strong accent and I hate it. So when I listen to other people with a small accent, I don't care, but myself, ugh, oh my God, is terrible. And yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video, even though my accent is terrible. So now, I'm just, yeah, I'm saving the file and it gets exported and I really love it. And it's light gray because it doesn't have any background uh, behind it. And I save it as a PNG, but you can save it as a PSD, you can save it as a JPEG. And now I basically just send it like this to the manufacturer, to the printer. And I usually print with stickerapp.com. So now you can sense that this video took me a lot to edit and to record because I waited for weeks uh, to the parcel to arrive and today finally arrived. And I was very, 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 very tempted to open it straight away, but I said, no, I had to record it. Okay, now I'm opening the parcel and I have to say that the quality is so amazing. I really love stickerapp.com. If you want to order some sticker, order from them. Uh, this, is video, this video is not sponsored by them. I wanted to say it and I really really love how it turned out and it's amazing because I really love that they do transparent background sticker. I don't think anyone does it. I also printed from awesome, awesome merchandise that come. The quality is amazing but they don't do transparent stickers and I really want that because when I plan on my journal, or when I plan in my bullet journal, or in any other notebook, I really like to put that, that emoji, and without a white background, it's like, I really love it how it looks like. I really hope you enjoyed this video, even if it's too long, even if, even if I'm blabbing too much, blabbling too much. And yeah, I hope to see you around and I'm very happy to tell you that you can find all these stickers up on my Etsy store right now. So if you don't want to miss it, I really suggest you to go and check out because I, as you can see, did order a lot of it because I, I still can't. Uh, I'm not a very successful Etsy seller, so I have to um, order very small amount, even though it's better to buy in bulk and everything else because, you know, but yeah, there are really low amount of stock of this design and if it sells well, I will start to invest it again over it and I will buy more stickers in bulk. I will, I will even do more design with this frog if you like it, guys. It all depends on, on you. So I want to give a last shout out to my patrons. Because yes, I have a pattern like any other artist that tries to live by himself. And I wanted to thank you because I know we are not like a lot, but I really appreciate, appreciate your support. And I hope you enjoy uh, your little extras that I give, like I do to-do list and desk wallpapers, phone and mobile wallpapers. So if you wanted to check it out, I will leave the link in the description down below and see you next time. Bye bye.